On the acreage numbers, <clears throat> um, the 88.026 million acres of corn uh, was what, uh, about 1.4 uh, million acres below what the trade was expecting. It was only about l less than 900,000 below what we were expecting. So it wasn't that big a surprise to us on the corn. A little bit of surprise is a little lower than we expected, but not that big a surprise. But to the trade, it was a much bigger surprise. On the soybeans, 88.982, essentially 89 million acres, down 1.1 million from last year was a huge surprise of three million acres from what we had been finding in our surveys. So that was a big surprise, particularly with November soybeans rallying through the period buying acres. So, and I'll, I'll go into more detail about where those losses are at. This is the one that has the most upside potential. With this low number, I would say the downside risk on those acres is probably much less than what is the upside. <clears throat> on wheat, here again, over a million acres more than what the trade expected. And that was largely um, because of spring acres. Look at this, 12.627 billion, a uh, million, excuse me, million, million acres. That's over one and a quarter million acres above what the trade expected. One and a, well, almost one and a half million acres over what I expected um, based on our conversations with people in the Northern Plains. And that may change. Keep in mind when the survey took place, the bulk of that planting typically takes place in April and April's looking pretty cool and wet for that region. And I'll have more on that as we go. Durham acres also coming in significantly below what the trade or what we, I was pretty close, just a little bit over what the trade expected. Um, and USDA was quite a bit below us. <clears throat> 